there's really one risk that matters for the United States, uh, and that, that's how you deal with the rise of China. But China's rise is really part of a more broader story, and the broader story is East Asia as a whole, over the last several decades, has become what I would call the most dynamic region of the world. I think we all agree that a significant part of the history of the 21st century will be written right here in Asia. There is a little bit of denial uh, concerning this tectonic shift, but we should make no mistake about it. This is a clear shift. This is one of those inflection points in history. Asia is growing. Asia is changing. I actually believe that the rise of Asia is actually very good news for the West. I have seen Asia go from a backward, impoverished region to a modern, rapidly growing, very optimistic center of the world. And so China's now got a population that's arguably middle class as large as the United States. What we're seeing is that domestic demand in Asia has remained strong. The U.S. economy will, will get a lift from developing export markets. Global brands depend on Asia. Obviously, China is uh, the largest market in the world today, so it's critically important that we do well here. Myanmar already is offering companies like Coca-Cola, GE, and Procter & Gamble opportunities, and they've, they've uh, taken those opportunities and are running with them. This is the market of the future. The United States is engaging in pivot to Asia that is meaningful, uh, and that does mean more diplomatic attention. It means more strategic and military attention. It means put pursuing the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Quite a few of the Southeast Asian countries are participating in the Trans-Pacific Partnership negotiations, which is the U.S. Trans-Pacific Free Trade Agreement. America is a Pacific power, a resident Pacific power. We are going nowhere. If we begin to reduce our military presence in East Asia, while China continues to rise, then confidence on the part of China's neighbors that the United States will begin to continue to play a strong, engaged role in East Asia will be eroded. I think that America's role in Asia will be strong for a very long time, but I wouldn't necessarily bet the entire ranch on that. The goal of the Asians is not to dominate the West, but to replicate the West.